Cherry Humane Society, we've been really busy the last couple months. We did a lot of work with the fires up north, so we had a lot of animals coming in. Um, we were working with about 500 animals up there, getting them spayed and neutered and everything done with them. And then we took in about 150 animals down here to rehome who didn't have anywhere to go home to. There's still quite a few and there's still some coming in because after the evacuation orders were all lifted then people have so much time to come get their animals and people who don't reclaim their animals then they come down here. So we'll be getting them in over the next, probably the, the next month. But yeah, so um, we found most of them all homes. Um, we do have some cats that are still looking for homes because cats are harder to place. But yeah, we've been very lucky. The people in Victoria are great. They've been very supportive in adopting all our animals. We got asked by Marie to be part of the Victoria Humane Society fashion show. It's the 10th anniversary and we're really excited to be part showing current trends and supporting a great cause. Well, it started 10 years ago. It's a little idea to raise funds for a sort of dog rescue. And it's grown and grown. It used to happen right here in the store, but now it's at the atrium because uh, we need a much bigger space. And we raise funds for the Victoria Humane Society. We'll be walking uh, probably 18 models, I believe 12 men and six women, provided by Bernstein and Gold, wearing the latest in the ladies' fashions for fall. Um, and they'll be walking a mix of their own dogs, lots of them who were acquired by rescue, and at least six adoptable dogs. And then these little characters will be at a puppy petting station just to add to the fun. The nice thing with dogs is you never know what's gonna happen when you have animals involved. So it's great, it makes it more fun. It makes it, it just makes it, everybody laughs and they do silly things. Sometimes they don't wanna go on the stage. Sometimes they fall off the stage. Like it's just, it's fun. You know what, it's funny. <laughs> Like, arranging models is actually far more difficult than dogs. Uh, we've rarely had a dog do uh, much of anything other than we usually provide some treats for the people in the front row and that gets dogs very excited to get on the catwalk, as they say, and uh, yeah, that just adds to the fun. But uh, no, it's uh, yeah, people worry all the time that the dogs are going to be a problem. And I can assure you, dogs just, they're out for a walk and they think it's pretty cool. Right now we're seeing a lot of um, leopard, leopard print and um, one thing that we're featuring is uh, faux fur, lots of faux fur, which is great. A lot more designers are using faux fur as a medium. Overcoats and Chelsea boots are a big thing, pull on Chelsea boots, of whether they're dressy or casual. Sport coats are a big deal. Uh, ties actually even made a little bit of a comeback, as this guy can attest. Clothes have trimmed up and that's just carrying on and things, people want things to fit. All the animals that we have are all in foster homes, so they're all in private homes. So they, it's really difficult to continually take in animals with not having foster homes to take them to. So that's why we're hoping to get a facility soon so that we'll be able to house more animals and take in more and save more lives. We came to support the Victoria Humane Society after fostering oh, 12 or 14 dogs from them at my house, uh, two of them who are still uh, in my care. And I just appreciate all the work they do for dogs in need. This is an amazing event. We love it every year and every year it gets bigger and better. And it's just a great event and they've always been so supportive. It's wonderful. The date is um, November 9th. It's a Thursday. Show starts about 7.30. Doors open at about 6.30. Um, uh, tickets are available at Outlooks for Men and uh, at the Outlooks for Men website.